Hey, 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 you guys. It is Michelle Bell, and I'm going to show you this new awesome tool that I learned about last week, and I have already jumped in completely and started using it and utilizing it for my business. Now, I am, um, yeah, so I'm just going to show you, and it's amazing. It's called Trello. Dot com so think hello Trello um, it is awesome and what I've been using it for is number one simplifying my business keeping everything in one place collaborating with my team you can use it personally as well you can use it with a group so I'm going to show you a few different aspects of this video I'm going to try to make it not too long but honestly there's like so many awesome things that you're just gonna fall in love with it, <laughs> okay? <laughs> so um, let me tell you why I love this so much. So a lot of us in this industry, in direct sales, utilize Facebook for teams. So um, I do team parties, right? I do a mock parties. So I do example parties and then I'm constantly adding people to these groups. And a lot of times people get overwhelmed with groups and I get messages, where's this group? Where's this group? I forget who I added, who I didn't add, right? It's very manual, you know, to add people sometimes if it's a secret group. And the other thing too is keeping track of your team. Um, keeping track of, for example, when a new presenter, you know, new consultant presenter starts, what have they done so far? What have I sent them? What's kind of the funnel? So, and then same thing with your leads. Are you keeping track of your leads? So this has solved all of that <laughs> for me. Um, it's also helped me to be able to hire an assistant and to have them utilize this with me. So I'm so excited. You guys are gonna absolutely love this. So first thing I'm gonna show you guys is the mock parties. And then I'm gonna show you working with your team, especially your new team members and moving them along. And the best part about this is people can copy boards to their own account. And there's an app. So I'm using my desktop just so I can film from my phone, but there's an app that stays on your computer all the time, or on your phone all the time. So when you are having a brand new presenter that's never done this before, and she says, I don't know how to do a party, you go boom. You add her to this and you say, copy this. So simple to do. And she can have it on her own. Like, And it's so visually gorgeous, <laughs> which is important to me. It's very visual, it's very easy to see. Things don't get out of order, people don't comment on them. It's amazing. Okay, so this is not my setup. This is from an Orange Test presenter, um, Brenda. And this is a launch party. So when somebody brand new joins, she just, you can send them a link. Um, so basically, I'll show you how to do that in just a second, how you invite people. But here is your day one. So every column is called a list very very user friendly it's so easy to use from your phone like you can do this entire thing from your phone um, this is called a list and these are called cards so imagine like you have either a notebook and this would be a page in a notebook or a whiteboard and you're taping you know index cards you know that kind of visual thing so these are just different little cards so these are different aspects of her pre-launch when you click on a card it opens up and it has her description okay here's her post like you literally see brand new presenter copy paste the other thing I love about using this versus Facebook, I don't know about you, but if you're using your phone and you're in your Facebook app and you're trying to go into a mock party in a group, okay, you're in a mock party in a group, and then you're opening up your own group, you are constantly going back and forth, right? Copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, okay? So here you can copy it on the app, switch over to Facebook, paste. Go back to Trello, so you're not going back and forth on Facebook. All right, so that's it, okay? Um, and it's got the attachment here. You can open it up, save it to your phone, copy it, you know, change it up, do whatever you want. Now this is her launch party, okay? This is her launch party. So it's got her pictures on it, okay? It's got her intro, but this is a good example to show her team. Day two, everything, you just scroll with your finger, okay? It's so easy. Day four, the entire party is set up and it's super easy to navigate, okay? Videos, you have a link. Okay, so you can put links on here as well where somebody can copy that same link from Facebook or examples so they can make their own. And I'll show you um, a couple examples of that too. That's it. Okay, so now here's the cool thing and this is why I really, really love it. So if you go to this menu over here, it's a little on the side, member over here, I can add my team members. I can invite them with a link or add their email address. So when I have somebody brand new join, I can add their email or I can send them a link and they can choose to opt in. 
and have this, and it's not related to Facebook, again, which I absolutely love. There's no worry about notifications or I lost this group or where is it or being overwhelmed. Everything's all in one spot. And then here's the really, really cool part. So if you just click on more, you can copy this board. Oh my gosh, you guys. You can print it and export it. <laughs> so you can print the whole thing if you're, you know, if you like to have things in person. Um, but you can copy the board. Okay, like seriously, just imagine brand new, you have somebody brand new, they're a brand new presenter, or let's say I want to make this my own and I want to have it always my own, right? I want to, you know, whatever. I can change it to my own thing. So men, I can title it Michelle's launch. So I would just tell somebody, hey, what you're going to do is you're just going to copy this board. I can make it private. Okay. And then I just click create. It's copying. So somebody can go into a team. So I actually copied this from Brenda. She invited me to hers. I copied it. I put it onto my account. So now here's my launch. Okay. And let's say I want to change this picture. Now I didn't do this ahead of time. So hopefully I can find a picture on my computer really quick. But if I can't, we'll just grab something so I can at least show you. Um, because I don't know if I have a picture. So I'm just gonna grab a picture of myself just to like show you. So you would create, you know, your picture, whatever, and you'd put it up there, okay? So now I can attach, um, let's see, did that go? Sorry. Oh, it's thinking. Processing, upload, I'm just, my, I'm just faster than my computer. It's actually usually really quick. There we go, and then I can delete hers. Okay, and now mine will show up. So I actually have an image that's very similar to hers that talks about the guarantee. I just don't know where it is on my computer. But now it's got my picture. Okay, so I can take all of her pictures out. Bam, put my own in. Okay, so let me show you another example. So I go back to the boards. And look at this, you guys. Launch party, launch party, launch party. So literally somebody could go, oh. So we have been doing a spring team party and we didn't create any of this on Facebook. Like oftentimes for a party that we do with our team, we'll kind of put a template together or we'll each say, you do this, you do this. This was so great because we could have three people working together and now we can run our own, but we all collaborated on this together. The other cool thing is you can add links from videos, whether you want to use YouTube um, or Facebook, something like that. And then this is basically just going to take me, you know, right to that. Okay. Um, so basically like you can either, this is in here, but if you attach it as a link, you just click attach. Now it's just going to take you right to that link. So here's this cute presenter. I don't know your name. Yes. Senia. Senia, but you're gorgeous. Thanks for your video. <laughs> okay. So now I have it there. And of course we still encourage people to make their own videos. Okay. So super easy. Now you can, Here's the cool thing. So we were putting together like a template for our team to use. Well, we can move things around. So if we're like, no, we want this day one, day two, day three. It's so, so easy to just move things around. Okay. You can move days around. So everything is just drag and drop. Super easy. Okay. The other cool thing that we did, well, that I think is cool, is we made a checklist. Okay. So we made this checklist. Sorry, it's thinking for a second. Here we go. Oh, and you can move. So here's the ethical thing. You can move a card or list to any board. So if I wanted to move this to a different board, I, like you can change things around and customize it. It's so cool. So I could take this list, copy it, or move it to any other board that I have. Okay. So we were doing this as a team and we thought, hey, we want all these different looks. So we just listed out what we wanted in the party and then we each together put it together. And we just marked it off when we were done. So it was super helpful working together as a group to put something together. Um, another thing that I have used it for, so I have another mock party on here. So I have like my own personal board and then I have a board that I'm using for all my team. I'm just gonna show you one more mock party and then I'm gonna show you how to use it with um, new presenters. So this is another mock party, another presenter put together. And again, I'm just putting it on here so my team can have access to it in one spot. And the videos that we did, so her videos, are on her Facebook page okay so I just put a screenshot of her video and then I just click the link and here's the sample video 
so my team can watch it and then recreate, you know, their own, of course, okay? Simple, simple. So you can't upload a video straight to it. That's the only downside. But honestly, it's so easy to upload a video to Vimeo, however you say that, Facebook, YouTube, whatever. I try to keep things off YouTube, but so super easy. Now there's an example or they can share it. What I have done for my team, and you don't have to do this, but I've actually made a business page just for um, product tutorials that they can share. That's not connected to a single presenter anything like that it's out off of youtube so you don't get a bunch of you know dumb videos that show up randomly and so this is where i'll be putting all of those kind of videos if i want my team sharing because they can share it right off of here they don't have to have it on their phone or whatever if they don't want to okay so that's the party aspect of it it's really really cool super super cool okay um and like i said you can copy this and make it your own Okay, so it's going to be super easy for somebody to change out the pictures and have their own party template. Bam, done. All right, so let me show you the other way that I've been doing this. Okay, the next way I've been using this, and this was Brenda's idea, and I absolutely love it. In fact, Brenda, I have her changed this a lot. So if you see her pictures, this is her sponsoring dashboard, her sponsoring board. So she has a little opportunity message. So I don't know how many of you, but you know, I had messages. I got several messages today about I'm trying to sponsor, I'm struggling with sponsoring. Yeah, I have a website that has, you know, information on sponsoring, but it's not right on their phone. And people go, what do you message people when you're trying to sponsor? Where's the picture of the kit? I got, I literally got three messages today about what's the current kit? Do you have a picture of the kit? I mean, we have all those things. But anyways, so this is her opportunity message that she sends people. What do you say when someone says no? Okay, opportunity video that she sends people. Her personal story, story clouds, so there's a link to that. Her welcome picture that she uses for her team, welcome message. Um, and then she goes to teaching a path. Hey, do you want to be a business builder or a hobbyist? It's like cut and paste. It's just her script. Again, this is just a place to organize. So she could have that somewhere else. But what's nice is you can duplicate it. So I have things like this on my notes on my phone. And I tell people, save it on notes on your phone. But I couldn't copy that and give it to somebody. And this way I can. Um, and then teaching how to set up a link booster bundle. So this is again, resources for her for sponsoring, how to set up your app on your phone. Okay. So again, it's just a way to organize. Okay. Now this is my favorite thing ever. Like Brenda's a genius. Okay. I just, <laughs> I did not think of this. Brenda's a genius. I hope she doesn't mind me sharing this, these names. Um, I apologize. I did not ask Brenda permission for this. So I'm apologize in advance, but I don't believe there's any personal information on here. So new presenter, she has a checklist. Now you can copy these. So basically you have somebody new that signs up. You have your checklist on here. Did I send them a welcome message? Their first day of joining. Did I add them to the groups? Did I send them a group message? First two days. Did I send her, hey, choose your path. Did I teach her how to open a party link? Booster bundle, faster. I mean, can you imagine that like how this would increase duplication on your team right because most of the time when somebody's not most of the time but often when somebody sponsors they just don't know what to do right they just don't know what to do you've been doing this for a while you know what to do right um and i've had checklists and i've had excel spreadsheets and i have you know i have things that teach this but i love how easy this is that it is just a simple checklist okay checklist 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 and then if they decide they're a business builder so they chose the business path then she goes through this with them. If they don't, they don't, okay? Now I'm still have, you know, I have my training stuff that I would still do with them, but this is something that I can duplicate. I can send this entire board when somebody sponsors and I go, boom, here's your board. It's already in your app, the app you already have for all your mock parties. It's in the same exact place. It's amazing. So when you wanna copy this, you just click clock copy. So I see that Brandy is on. Brandy, I'm gonna use your name if that's okay. So Brandy's my new rock star, which I'm so excited. <laughs> I can choose what board I want to send it to, where I want it. I want her in position one because she just started. I'm going to click create card. Okay. Brandy just signed up. I know she's going to be a leader. <laughs> okay. Here's Brandy. All right. So, and this is not Brenda's board anymore. This is, um, oops. So now I can go through Brandy. Sent her a welcome image. Welcome, Brandy. I added her to the groups. Sent her a message. If I want to add anything else, I can. 
Um, you could even put descriptions on here. So I talked with Brandy. Um, Brandy's, oh, her, her join date, fast start date, her why, her kid's names, her husband's name. You know, you could add whatever you want here. Okay, so it's pretty cool. You can add a due date too. Now the cool thing about a due date, so if I put tomorrow, I wanna make sure I do this first day stuff tomorrow. When I close out of this, it's gonna have a little thing on here. On your phone, this will have different colors as it gets closer. So it kind of reminds you of things that are like coming up. Um, if you change it, maybe if I change it to today, dun, 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 Wednesday, I wanna, oh, see? So it'll, it'll start changing colors. So it'll draw attention to things that are coming sooner. So if you want to remember to follow up with this person in a week, just put a due date and when you log, when you check in, it'll just be like, bam, okay, that's right. I need to do the red first. You can also sort these. So if you're like, I really want to make sure I focus on these four, you know, my business builders, you just put them at the top. Okay. And then you're making sure that you're focusing on them. Cool, huh? Fast start. Again, you could add everyone in your circle fast start and just making sure it, it's like a watch list. And then I put my prospects on here too. Um, people that you are searching for. So you can customize this. You could do it where it's just your list. You could do it where it's your new stuff. Like it's totally customizable. All right. So now I added something new because I thought a lot of people use Teamsy. I used Teamsy for a little bit. I liked some things about it. I didn't love everything about it, but I do kind of forget about contacts. You know what I mean? I like having something visual in front of me and I thought, Okay, so let me just step back for a second. The other reason I love this, okay, I don't know if you guys have ever thought about this and not to get morbid or anything like that, but let's just say that what if you couldn't run your business? Okay, let's just put this out there. What if you got in an accident? What if you got paralyzed? What if you got really sick and your husband needed to take over your business or you needed to hire an assistant or you're, you wanted to give your business to somebody? Could you do that? Most of us probably would say no because we're a hot mess and we have notebooks all over the place and we have a system, but we're the only ones that know the system. So I have added my husband to all of this because this is something that somebody could easily take over. So that's the other reason I love this. Okay, let me go back. So Facebook contacts, I've decided that when I just wanted a list. And so I put my prospective presenters here. I just started this. My warm list, so these are people on Facebook that I want to make sure I'm keeping in contact all the time. Um, people that I have added as friends in April, obviously I have more than this. And then these little labels are things that I added. So this person is in direct sales. Um, sorry, Sabrina, I'm showing your information. Um, but you can add labels. So I put gorgeous, <laughs> someone in my town, business owner direct sales. So you can add labels so you kind of know, okay, these are the people I want to work at. People that live near me, people that are in my hot market, cold market. I got a little ambitious. I started adding my customers too on here. But here's why. Um, let's see. I'm going to try to find someone that wouldn't care that I'm showing their stuff. Jamie, I hope you don't mind. Jamie's in direct sales too. Um, she's awesome. So I can click. I just click on her link. Oh, I forgot to fix this. It's a great example. I have a typo in her link. But anyways, it goes to her. <laughs> okay, let me find one that works. <laughs> Uh, let's find one that works. Okay. I'm like, it goes to her Facebook. So anyways, it goes to their Facebook. So if I have a day and because this is so app friendly, I can do it on my phone. Um, if I am, you know, sitting for five minutes and I'm like, I need to contact my customers. I can just go bam, 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 bam. It connects them on Facebook. And then once I contact them, I can move them down the list. I can be like, I can move it and I could make another list and say, contacted them. So it just... Sometimes I forget to contact people, right? And it just kind of keeps people in the, you know, in my news feed. It's very visual. I'm just such a visual person. Like I have to see names or I kind of forget about them. I don't know. So that's my list. That was kind of a newer project that I started doing. And that's basically how I use it with my business. Pretty fun, huh? Like, but okay, so I'm gonna show you just one more thing because this is all one app. So you can divide it between your team stuff. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see that with the comments, your team stuff. Okay, but you also can use this for personal. So I'm just gonna show you what I have done personally. So this is my personal family one. So I've got my to-do list. This is also what I added my um, assistant to. So this is her to-do list. These are things that are done. 
These are things I need to do in my business. These are things I need to mail out. These are things I need to do as a family. So I put my shopping list on here, you guys. Like, I'm such a nerd. Okay, shopping list. And I added my husband so he can add things too. Um, and then when we're done, we just click move it over to done. And I know I've done that. Uh, I put my taxes on here. I decided to add my mileage on here. My hours, I do a uh, freelance design. Anyways, I just put everything on here because then it's all in one place. I used to have like all these different notebooks. I still utilize my planner and I just coordinate between everything. So, and you can see like this was due, by the way, that did get done <laughs> or uh, done. Uh, that did not ever happen. That's so sad. No one had one, uh, but we worked it out anyways. And that's it. So when I have, oh, that got done. Um, anything that's done, I could just put a little uh, thing on there and there's notifications. So bam, so that's it. So I've kind of fallen in love with this. I feel like it's a huge resource for your team. Um, huge resource to collaborate. Uh, this is the other thing that I'm gonna be doing and I'll just add to it a little as I go, but sample posts, you know, post on your wall. I can add a new presenter to it and be like, here are like a hundred different sample posts. Literally just pick one each day and just go. I'm like, um, yeah. Or I can pick one and send to people each day. So there's so many different ways that you can use this. I mean, any way that you are already organizing. Oh, see, and then here's my other thing. This is personal. This is nothing to team. But if you are eating healthy or you need sample diets or exercise, like I just, all these things that I was putting in a notebook, and losing in papers around my house and driving me nuts. Like I just put it on here. So it's awesome. So I wanted to share that with you guys. Trello is 100% absolutely free, but you can upgrade. And there's more things you can do with this. Like you can add, um, it's called Power Up. So you can add your Google Calendar on here, Dropbox, custom fields. I mean, pfft automation. I haven't even looked into this stuff because like I'm, I'm pretty happy with how it is right now, but man, there's a lot of really cool things you can do with this. So they've got box.net, board meeting, Google Hangouts. I mean, it's like a hub for <laughs> whatever. I don't even know how this stuff is. So I didn't get too crazy with trying to like spend days figuring out how to do it. I just took what I needed to, but the Google Drive, you know, anyways, it's maybe some stuff you're already using you can put on there. So that's it. Um, let me know what you guys think. Feel free to share this with your teams if you feel like it's helpful. Um, I was grateful that somebody shared it with me. So might as well just share it with somebody else and um, show them that it's pretty cool. And like I said, I'll be adding my team to this. Just the launch party alone. Oh my gosh. She showed me that and I thought, so much better than Facebook. So much better than Facebook. So have a great day, you guys.